In this problem, we're being asked to graph this logarithmic function. We have g of x equals the log base 4 of, in parentheses, x plus 3, and then, after that, plus 2. So this looks pretty complicated. I think the best way to approach this problem is to think about what the graph of just log base 4 of x would look like first. And I think I'm actually going to go ahead and graph that and graph its asymptote. And, uh, and then worry about what this chunk does, and then worry about what this chunk does. Those two things are going to transform this basic graph of the log base 4 of x uh, in certain ways. And, and we'll examine that and find out uh, what, what happens to it. So let's just try graphing the log base 4 of x. So I've got x and y here, and y is the log base 4 of x. And remember what that means. This is get slightly bigger font here. This is the power of 4 you need to get whatever x is. So what's the power of 4 that would give you that x value? So one of the things I like to start with is always 1, because anything to the 0 power is 1. So the power of 4 you need to get 1 is 0. So the point 1, 0 is going to be on this graph. So we'll put that in there. And then let's pick, oh, I don't know, let's try 1 fourth. This is a good uh, idea to take the, the reciprocal of our base, because that means it's um, 4 to the negative 1 power. And that gives us another point. So we're going to have 1 fourth negative 1, so right here. And already, you can probably tell we're going to have this long trailing tail that approaches 0 here. If you put in, let's say, 1 16th, that would be a negative 2 power. So we'd get even closer to 0. And as these negative numbers increase, we'll get closer and closer to 0, but never actually touch it. What that means is we have an asymptote at x equals 0. So I'm going to draw that in. And let's get at least just one more point on, on the, to the right of this. So let's pick, I don't know, let's pick 4. That's going to be an easier one to figure out than 2 here. So 4. So what's the power of 4 you need to get 4? Well, that's just 1. So 4, 1 is on this graph. And at this point, we've probably got enough information to at least make a pretty good approximate sketch here. So I'm just going to draw in our graph. So this is the graph of the log base 4 of x. Now, let's take this a step at a time. Let's work on the plus 3 part in here. What if we had x and y? What if we had, for y, the log base 4 of x plus 3? What I want to do is get these, these pairs again. So if I wanted to get a 1 in here, in parentheses here, I would need to put in a negative 2. And then the power of 4 that would get me 1 would be 0. So I've got the point 2, negative 2, 0 on here. So let me plot that, negative 2, 0. And now let's see. Let's work on, on this uh, something for this point right here. So this is the point 4, 1. So what that means is I got 4 in here. If I wanted to get 4 in here, I'd, I'd need to put 1. And then the, this would add up to 4. The power would be 1. You raise uh, 4 to the first power, you get 4. So I've got the point 1, 1 on this graph. Now, you should be able to see what's happening here. This point has been translated to this point. This point has been translated to this point. So what this plus 3 is doing is moving the graph three spaces that way. So I think uh, rather than um, replot this, I'm just going to grab my asymptote and move it over 3. And I'm going to grab my graph and move it over 3. OK. So we've dealt with the first part. Let's think about this plus 2 now. And this plus 2 happens after all the logarithmic stuff goes on. So the y value is just increased by 2. So we do all these calculations, we get the 0, and then we would 
add a two to it if we're going to do a plus two. This is going to be plus two here. This is going to be plus two here. What that means is everything just goes up two. So we have this point here. Um, we have this point here. And the whole graph just moves up. And there we have our, our graph of the log base 4 of x plus 3 plus 2. So if you start by graphing the points that are on the function log base 4 of x, and then work on translating those points with this, and then translate it with this, you should arrive at a spot where you've got the right points. And in the Alex um, grapher, once you've got those two points and your asymptote drawn in, you can just hit the graph button and it should fill in the rest for you. There's one more part of this problem. We are being asked to figure out the domain and range of this function. So the domain, of course, is everything x can be. So we're talking about left and right. And this function never goes to the left of this line right here. So we start at negative 3 on the x values, and then we go as far as we want over. So this goes up to infinity. So this is our domain. And our range goes all the way down to negative infinity here. And eventually, it goes up to positive infinity over there. So our range is going to be from negative infinity to infinity. And I use the, um, the curved brackets here, the parentheses, because the function never touches negative 3. That's an asymptote. And of course, we always use uh, the curved brackets with, uh, with infinity and negative infinity. So that's how to graph a slightly more complicated logarithmic function.